Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming, and welcome back to none other, none other than your boy, King Randley the First, first of his name, King of the Anvils and the First Man, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and King of the Iron Throne, or is, is that the name? <laughs> I think it will probably come up in a pop-up somewhere. Yes, last episode, we did the impossible. Uh, we captured... Uh, some very famous people, uh, Jamie Lannister, Joffrey Waters, aka Joffrey Baratheon, and Tommen Waters, aka Tommen Baratheon. Uh, and we won the war after many fierce battles uh, uh, here in the Crownlands, some of which we lost, most of which we won. Um, and we finally have captured, uh, well, I, I was going to say our birthright, but it's not really our birthright, right? Because <laughs> Stannis is still alive. He is the rightful heir to the uh, to the Iron Throne, to be perfectly honest with uh, with you guys. But you know, he's less popular than me. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's kind of a dick, and uh, and I'm I'm a likable guy, handsome guy, you know, attractive, married to lovely my lovely wife Marjorie, uh, of Tyrell of the Iron Throne, who is uh, dressed very well, I must say. Um, all right, and already we have a son, Robert the uh, the second. At least, if everything goes all right, he will be King Robert II. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, like I mentioned last episode, we may have, may have won this war. But uh, there's still two wars open here. And also, there's probably going to be uh, a few more wars once we deal with the consequences of our actions. Uh, once we try to uh, enact justice on our enemies. Uh, and, you know, Renly, he is a uh, lenient guy, but he's not stupid. He is going to persecute uh, those who are the worst offenders uh, of the Lannisters, because otherwise people won't take him seriously. So let's uh, let's uh, let's do that. After seizing seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne, you have also captured the treasury of the deposed Joffrey Waters. All right, what does he have? Okay, a whole bunch of stuff. And Robert's Warhammer. Yeah, Crown of Winter. All right, we'll have a look later. It's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. Joffrey Lannister is at fucking crow. Okay, <laughs> I don't need to know. Every single thing Joffrey Bratian owns game. Come on. <laughs> I guess he was still a special character, right? Yeah. Turn that off. I'm, I'm just kind of debating with myself whether I will send this, this, this little boy to the wall. Or whether I, I will kill him. I think I will kill him. You know. Look at all the people he's killed. Lem Lemon Cloak. Pello Greenbeard. Hostelli. Brandon Stark. Tiana. Which Tiana? I said the... Uh... Oh no, okay. Lord Edric of Blackhaven, Edric Dondarrion. Okay, I guess he uh, he killed most of the uh, the the, the brother brotherhood without banners. Sansa Stark, yep. Thoros of Myr, Lord Paramount Eddard of House Stark. I that's, that's fun that that he's in here because that happened before uh, we started this game. Veon Poole, Desmond Porter. I don't know who who all these people are, but I guess they died uh, in battle against uh, the forces of Joffrey Baratheon. All right. 14 kills. Well, my man. 14 kills at age 15. That is uh, an impressive number. That's more than, uh, than Billy the Kid, I think. He, uh, that, that's what like, like a famous outlaw. And I think he, he killed 12 people before it's 21. Still pretty impressive. But uh, Joffrey Waters has got them beat. Although he is a bit of a, well, pussy. <laughs> he didn't do it himself. He, uh, he had someone do it for him. Anyway. These, we are uncrowned at the moment. Um, I know that in this mod, you can sell stuff, right? Skull of the Last Dragon. You can say uh, manage, and then we can say sell, 40 gold. Let's, let's, wait, let's wait for a while, but I kind of want to get crowned as soon as possible. And that's probably going to cost me some money. At peace? Okay, I must be at peace first. Okay, so it's going to be a while. Where are we trying to, trying to kill this guy? Oh, he's, um, he's an adventurer with a claim to my lands. I remember now. So we uh, we should definitely should continue with that plot. Uh, Peter, Peter, uh, Lord Baelish wants to join us. All right, very nice. He does want quite a bit of money. He's my vessel. We can make him our um, our steward, actually, or master of coin. Yeah, that will immediately improve his opinion, and then maybe now he will want to join our plot. Still not, huh? We give him an honorary title, I suppose. What about Cupbearer? Want to join my plot now? Yes, great. Okay, that was uh, 
that was a useful uh, strategy. We have a great master of coin. And we have someone who is great with plotting to help us as well. The master of whispers. Varys, Lord of Winterfell. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to uh, want to imprison him. He's the kingdom of the north. He's the kingdom of the trident. I don't want him to be king of the north. Uh, can we imprison him? I mm, guess not. Currently immune to us. Actually, okay. I guess uh, I guess he's gonna be one of the uh, sort of uh, traitors that we uh, we were gonna uh, we are gonna uh, uh, sort of deal with after this war. Yeah, and uh, some great uh, suggestions by uh, I think his name is God Emperor of Mankind. One of our commenters uh, he, he suggested that uh, we give the river. So he he looked up who our most loyal sort of turncoats were, so the per people who joined us first. And I think this guy, uh, the Pipers, the Pipers joined us first in the Riverlands, so they, they, they are a good candidate to give the Riverlands to if we uh, if we regain it, because they, they are our loyalists. And like I said, I don't think uh, Renly has any particular love for the Tully, so, you know, uh, he might give it back to the Tullys if they are available, but he, uh, he he's not loyal to the Tullys like <coughs> the Baratheons traditionally are to the Starks. And um, there was also a family in the in the north. Uh, here they are, I think. Yeah, the Flints. They joined us first in the north, and like you can see now, most of the north has joined us actually. <laughs> so, uh, but they were they were first, and we might give if if Rickon Stark is not available for some reason, we might give uh, the north to uh, Lady Lyessa. So let's uh, let's do that. Uh, but first off, let's deal with the consequences of our victory just now. Uh, ransom all prisoners. No, no, no. no. Mind the title, commander of the gold clubs. We will uh, we will do this quickly. Uh, our vessels don't like us too much, but we're gonna keep them around anyway. Uh, ruler and crown. Yeah, we need to be at peace for that. Call in allies, Lord Paramount Mace of the Reach. Great, 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 great. Yes, please, please join my wars, uh, Lord Paramount Mace. You can use your uh, your forces and your 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 your, your, your nice uh, your nice uh, food. Yeah, the Reach is like. Uh, the most fertile region in the Seven Kingdoms, so uh, we can use that. Uh, but first off, let's go up here to Stony Shore, and uh, is it Stony Shore? No, different. Uh, South Stone, and uh, get them back into the fold, and then we will move on to Seaguard, although we might have to move to Seaguard first, to be honest. Oh, they're all the way up there, okay, so they're on the way anyway. Let's move over there, and uh, let's... Oh, 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 I'm too quick. CR is on the Iron Throne, right, we, 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 we fulfilled the ambition, great. Great, good, great. Yep. Uh, we sure did. Uh, what is a new ambition we can take? Obtain Valyrian Steel. Expand realm by conquest. Have five children. Become exalted among men. Mm. I think Valyrian Steel would be cool. Five children would also be great. I think, I think I'm going to go for that one, actually. Because... Uh, we really need the kids, <laughs> and the Baratheons now know, uh, you know, what happens uh, when there's not enough uh, heirs around. Um, yes, my house is on the house is on the Iron Throne. Uh, so Sandor Clegane, one of your opponents, has been brought to be brought to before you to hear your judgment. Uh, that this is the Hound. He is in the King's Guard. Uh, I think he's not suitable for that. So uh, leave him be. We could see see him to the dungeon. We could uh, remove him from the King's Guard, or we could uh, bring bring him. Uh, we could. Uh, we could execute him. I think, you know, we're not going to keep him at the King's Guard, but he, he hasn't done much against us personally. Uh, Sir Ronald Connington, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. He, uh, I think he followed Stannis before he followed us. Um, I think we will leave him be, right? Yeah. We'll reprimand him and take a hostage. This guy, Osfried Elsem, another uh, Stormland loyalist, I think. Oh, no, he's up here in the fingers. I don't know why he is a, spe a specific enemy of mine. I have no quarrel with him. Um, yeah, leave him be. Uh, we have this guy, J J Lord Jeremy Chittering of Chittering Brook. Oh, he's down here. Right. Um, send him to the dungeon. He will forfeit Chittering Brook. Now nah, leave him be. This guy, Gerard Whitman. He's all the way up here. Leave him be. There's no time to deal with you guys. South Shield. Down there, <laughs> leave him be. Uh, Sir Simon Templeton of Nine Stars up here, leave him be. Ah, Doran Martell, one of my opponents, really. Hmm. Did he fight us? I, I really don't remember. 
<laughs> I literally don't remember this. Um, I guess he joined Joffrey or something. I I have no quarrel with this man. Come on. Well, I, 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 I don't even remember uh, fighting any battles with him. Yeah, no, leave him be. Uh, Lord Paramount Tyrion Lannister, one of your opponents has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Hmm, okay. This is a tricky one, though. Lord Tyrion. What exactly did he do to us? Okay, he joined the war against us, of course. Uh, he is the the uh, the family member of the hated Cersei Lannister. But does Renly hate him? I'm, I'm really not sure that he does. I think he is, he is a pretty good sort of uh, Lord Paramount. Hmm. On the other hand, we're probably going to kill both Jaime and Cersei, if we can get a hold of Cersei, so... He will hate us. <laughs> should we leave him be? Or should, he, should we send him to the dungeon? We'll forfeit the Westerlands. Hmm. Hmm. Should we imprison him? All debts owned by the Iron Throne to House Lannister are cancelled. Okay, that is actually great. <laughs> that's actually great. Yeah, that sent me over the edge. Send to the dungeon. Coach Joffrey, what is one of your opponents has been brought before you to hear your judgment? Should judge his family justly. I want all the rights. No, let's uh, let's let's treat him justly, right? Uh, I will judge his family justly. Yeah. Yeah. Or should we just kill him? I want all the rats on pikes. Bring me his head. Hmm. Should we just murder him, or should we should we judge him justly? I think I cannot afford having this guy get out, so I I think I will kill him. Uh, so Lord Elwood Meadows, uh, leave him be. Lord John Royce, right? That he's the uh, my King's Guard's uh, dad. Mm, he's up here. Fine, leave him be. I don't. I don't have any particular hate against these filmmen. You know, they 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 they, they took an opportunity when they had one. But uh, you know, as long as they swear fealty to me now again, and I think he's gonna he's going to. He's not at war with me anymore. So I think he's gonna swear fealty to me again. So as long as he does that, I I don't have a quarrel with him. You know. He fought against the the same uh, the same ty tyrannical king as we did, so uh, you know, leave him be. I kind of want to judge uh, Joff uh, Tommen. I guess we're first going to execute uh, Joffrey. Oh, Lord Paramount the Imp has declared uh, War of Westerland of Independence. All right, realm unrest. Your succession to the Iron Throne after Joffrey's death has triggered unrest throughout the realm. Ch challenges to Baratheon rule are emerging, with many small folk and other bandits. And outlaws causing trouble. Okay, for the coming five years, we have a big revolt risk. Hmm, okay. Alright, this guy, uh, the Tyrion Lannister, has declared war on me because I tried to imprison him. Um, well, too bad, Tyrion. I'll crush you. Uh, yes, please, everyone, jo join me. How shall he be, di be, di be dispatched? We'll execute him. We'll behead him, of course. That is the sort of historically, uh, that's the now it's another history thing. Uh, if you guys have started watching my channel only since the Game of Thrones series, you might not know this, but I I often break into tangents about uh, history because I'm a big uh, big history uh, history lover. And uh, but in the Game of Thrones mod, of course, there's not that many reasons to start on tangents. But uh, the behead beheading of nobles was sort of uh, seen as the honorable way. So if you if you were executed in in medieval times and medieval times is very broad, but let's say France or England. Uh, in in the 13th, 14th century, and if you were noble, you were beheaded. If you were a commoner, you were hanged. Uh, hanged was sort of the for, reserved for lower uh, lower ranked uh, people. Uh, and there were, of course, also uh, more or also worse ways to execute this guy. But Renly is not is not a wrathful guy, right? So we will just uh, you'll just behead him. That's fine. All right, um, Mace Diaz, are you joining me? To fight uh, Lord Tyrion? Are you already uh, already in this war? No, I guess not. Oh, he's still uh, he's still uh, still uh, we still have to uh, call into arms to the other uh, minor wars. All right. Uh, removing this guy has angered uh, those in court. Whatever, I don't care. We need a new master at arms, Loras Tyrell. Yeah, sure, my lover. That's completely fine. All right. Um, should we put Varys? As our master of whispers, I don't. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Let's hold. On, let's hold off on that for a while. Paris is a bit dangerous. Let's uh, let's raise the rest of our armies. 
and 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 uh, convene over here in uh, King's Landing. Uh, you can uh, walk around, I guess. Uh, I, Sir Courtney Penrose has recommended that Sir Maren Trent be named a member of the King's Guard. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, prison, my prisoner Jamie Lannister is complaining about the dark cells in the dungeon. Uh, seize valuable artifact. Can we do that? Jamie Lannister's sword. No, I guess not. He needs to be a traitor. Can we call him for trial? Hmm. I guess not yet. Maybe later. Uh, he wants to be moved from the dungeon to more suitable accommodations. Um. No, you guys stay in the dungeon. You guys can stay in the dungeon, you Lannisters. Your brother's in arms. Brother in arms, Sir Alice uh, of Gallows Grey. All right, my man, you are. Uh, we can appoint you to the King's Guard, I suppose. If you are my friend, and you are strong and a skilled fighter, yeah, you're just. Yep. Okay, great. Brother in arms, my man. Welcome to the King's Guard. Let's see who else. Okay, my Loris Tyrell is my uh, is my uh, my master at arms and my the leader of my king's guard. That makes sense. Pycelle wants to join me. That's fine. This is uh, Master Pycelle. Grand Master Pycelle is one of the one is pretty uh, pretty main character of the series, and he's uh, I think he's joining us uh, just because he's the most powerful master, which is fine. Uh, bring me the greatest knight in all the realm. Bring me the knights I can trust most. Let's have a look first in our court who we can we can we can appoint as. Uh, King's Guardsman. Yeah, there's not going to be there's a lot, lot of event clicking this episode. I might uh, I might skip some of it. But on the other hand, it's quite fun. Robar Royce, my courtier. He was in my Rainbow Guard, I think. And he's a great, he's a fantastic fighter. Yeah, yeah, we're going to appoint him. Oh, we cannot do that? Is he already in my... Oh, he's already in my King's Guard. Okay. Um, You? Oh, this guy. Yeah, we, we hired him because he was a siege leader. Courtney Penrose himself. Okay, not not that many fantastic guys. I guess we will uh, we will have the greatest knights of the realm come to me. Donald of Bronzegate. He's a giant and a trained fighter. Balon Swan, who lost his nose, but is otherwise still a pretty good uh, pretty good guy. Yeah. Uh, Balon Swan, would you want to join my King's Guard? Great. Welcome. He is in the in the book series as well, but I don't I don't really remember much about him. So it might be. Horribly out of character for me to appoint him, but uh, yeah. Uh, this file looked on with pride, great. A lot of red watch, that's fine. You're welcome, my man. Ah, Mr. L is, uh, is joining me. You want to join me as well in the war against uh, against uh, the, the, the Westerlands? Oh, he's already at 50%. Oh, that's because we hold Jamie Lannister uh, hostage. Okay, <laughs> that's great, actually. Oh, and uh, uh Mace Ace is also joining me already. Mace, uh, we need your uh, your help here, and we need the help of all our other vessels as well, because the Westerlands is uh, is one of the strongest uh, kingdoms of the Seven Kingdoms. We're gonna fight them. We're already losing sieges. We're gonna keep uh, Jamie and uh, Tommen in our uh, in our dungeon for a while. That might be necessary. Uh, okay, yeah. Now oh, we should not forget about this uh, <laughs> about this uh, th th this adventurer, I suppose. Lot, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> uh, Sorellis is joining me. I think I think hopefully we'll be able to kill him. Let's see. At least we'll have our armies raised uh, whenever he arrives. Uh, bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning someone's sexual preferences. Uh, I'll keep it to myself. In any, <laughs> I, I might even use it to uh, <laughs> to seduce him. How is the revolt risk, by the way? Okay, it's horrible. Hmm. <laughs> Then it's good that we are raising the armies, because there's probably going to be a revolt at some point in the very near future. Uh, I read to express my conversation on... Uh, oh yeah, Sir Uthor, yeah. I know just that to smooth this over. Sir Uthor can, uh, can continue joining me. He, uh, he's been of help to us. We can raise him to nobility, I suppose. Let's wait uh, with that for a while, because I know that there are um, people who... So the Iron, the Iron Throne owes, owes debts to a lot of people. See if we can't repay one of them. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay. We should do, we should start disposing of this wildfire though. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. 
a bit of a waste of money, but I know that there is a chance because uh, Arius Targaryen, he has huge wildfire stockpile, yeah. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is from the show and the books. It's Arius, uh, he, 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 he starts building up a lot of wildfire um, stockpiles and he wants to burn the city. And that is why Jamie Lannister uh, ends up killing him and being becoming known as the Kingslayer. It's because he, kills, he wants to kill Arius Targaryen uh, because he wants to blow up the city, the whole city. And, uh, and and Tyrion later in the Battle of Blackwater, he uses that uh, that huge stockpile of wildfire to uh, to uh, attack uh, Stan the fleet of Stannis Baratheon and defeat it. Um, but he didn't he didn't use any black fire in this uh, in this case, uh, any wildfire. So it's still there, and we really should start removing it because I know there are events uh, where uh, where where the whole city can burn down. If you have a huge, uh, huge wildfire stockpile, stockpile, so we really have to prioritize that. Yeah, Renly himself can join as well. We're immediately back at war. Let's go to the Westerlands over the King's Road, and hope uh, Mace uh, finds us. Mace, oh, he's already attacking someone. Good going, Mace. And you're losing. Fantastic. <laughs> Edric Storm, right? My nephew is being taught by uh, by uh, Mister uh, Mister Parcel, I suppose. Oh. Mace, what are you what, what are you doing, man? Is, is there a fantastic commander here or something? Army of Sir Adam. He's just kicking the ass of all these Tyrells. Joining them. Let's go to uh, Castle Rock, right? That's, that seems like a good idea. Just uh, just kick them out of the war uh, fast. Everybody, please join me over here at Castle Rock. Mace will probably join the capital first and then uh, then come over to us. Uh, all right, great. Uh, big army, yes. Okay. In that case, please stay here. Mace, please join me. We might move over there actually, because there's a big, a big Lannister army coming. So it might not be wise to move to Castle Rock immediately. Oh, he's already. Oh no, that's just this this small army. Mace the Ace, are you joining me? Let's move over here. That little. 10,000, oh, yeah, attack, 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 attack. Mace, please help me. Help me out. Help me out, Mace. Mace the ace. Is he, is he helping me out? Yes, he, he seems to be. I am fighting here in this flank. Randy the Beautiful. I do hope uh, people are about to join me. Uh, Tybalt Lannister. Prepare to die, Lannister's come. Get back your grace, I'll handle this. Yeah, uh, Lord Starwell can, uh, can handle this. That's right, run back to Castle Rock. Sorry, Tybalt Lannister. Renly is not he's not a fighter, you know. He, uh, he's, he's happy to have uh, Loras uh, take all the glory on the battlefield. Alright, here we go. We are winning this battle, it seems. Great, 4,058%. Against King Tyrion the Imp. Of the, uh, the, the rock, King of the Rock. Alright, that was a major victory. Uh, should we chase these guys? Yeah, yeah, we should chase them, I think. Oh, hey, <laughs> this guy is joining me. Great. Oh man, everyone is joining. Everyone is rising against Tyrion. Hmm. Who is who is who is uh, on my side in this war against Tyrion? Oh, it's just my Starrell, I guess. Here's a whole bunch of uh, bunch of people. This is also just my Starrell. The South Stone is, is the most. That's up here, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so we might have to move there also soon. Otherwise, we will, we will just win by default. This guy. I guess we should do that. Should maybe split off an army and go there. Mm, yeah, I think we should do that. Else we will... Uh, or are other people already doing that? No, I think because we told them all to join my army, I think. I'm not sure that that did anything. Oh, I, am, am I sick, really? Oh, damn. Okay, <laughs> I hope I live. Sans Bratian. Matrilineal betrothal between Edric Storm and Shireen Bratian. Um, I guess that's fine. I mean, you do hate me, Stannis, but... I mean, you can marry, I suppose, Edric Storm. At least it will stay in the family, right? Is he my, uh, my squire? No, Donald Swan's uh, squire, I think. Should we should we keep him around? Yeah, okay. You know what? We're gonna keep him around because maybe my my son will die and then he will be the next heir. 
if we legitimize him. In uh, Stannis, we will bypass Stannis again. Uh, yeah, the, we will smooth, we'll smooth this over. 73% against uh, King Tyrion the Imp. Uh, we might want to have Mace do his own thing. And we will move up north. Let's do that. Because uh, we need we need to fight, start fighting that uh, that, that that war over there. Let's uh, we have an organizer, right? Where is he? No, I guess not. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go like this and follow the king's road because I think that is a little bit faster, even if it's the long way around. Mm, yep. Let's move up here and then to his capital, which is Seaguard, I suppose. Yeah. Let's move. You guys can uh, mace. You can keep fighting the. Uh, Lemnesis, I think uh, probably we beat most of his armies already. Yeah, he's only got 4k troops left. So we will we will beat him soon. But we really need to fight this war soon, otherwise he will just win by default. Can't have that. Um, seek treatment for illness. Yeah, let's do that. I really don't want to die. That would suck. Uh, yeah, please treat my symptoms, my man. Okay, plus 0 0.25. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alas, mnemonic. Ugh. Okay. Is that bad? Minus four health. Oh, fuck. Please don't die. Uh, okay, a peasant revolt. Yeah, that was, that was bound to happen, right? Where is he? Greywater Watch. Is that all the way up north, really? Where are you, my man? Oh, it's all the way up north. Okay, but I think he's already uh, he's already being dealt with. So well, that's good to know. Uh, this guy is filled with call to arms. Ah, don't bother me with the dealings of small lords. Um, as long as you know what you're doing. I actually feel better. Plus two health. Okay, that's good news, I suppose. Maybe we should uh, stop uh, <laughs> stop leading this army. I put Lord uh, Lord Titus Blackwood. Yeah, you can be in the. Oh, you were you were already in the flank. Let's put uh, uh, Robar Royce. Sure, you can be on this flank. That's fine. Renly, uh, let's uh, let's have him stop leading armies for a while. Uh, which which button is that? Okay, well whatever. Oh, no, it, it's, it's up there. It's a little bit a uh, little bit of a different location. Uh, in the Game of Thrones mod compared to uh, base game CK2. Okay, 100% against the Lord Peasant Revolt. Great. Send you to the wall. Manage him to the Night's Watch. Bye bye. Manage him to the Night's Watch. You can do much good there. This peasant. Uh, okay. Uh, Daenerys captured Marine. Good for her, I suppose. Just, uh, just don't think you can attack me. <laughs> Although this might be a very opportune time for you to do that. If I just uh, look at it from your perspective, let's move up here. Actually, this might be a bit of a bit of a army <laughs> bar army that's a bit too big for uh, for this uh, this occasion. We need to move to Castle Rock soon, because I think he's probably getting ticking war score. Yeah, so we need to start capturing uh, stuff in uh, Lannister uh, Lannister lands. I think this is more urgent. See, he's about to win. Charge, 62%. Uh, okay, come on. This is taking too long. We have time to deal with this right now. 68%. We'll move to his capital, I guess. Losing a lot of people to attrition, but that's fine. Uh, your Grace, many of your faithful subjects, myself included, feel that Lord Varys of Winterfell has amassed more power and titles and is warranted by his station. If you were to kindly advise him to abdicate the Lord... I lost you to, of the trident to a vessel. Know that this decision would enjoy our wholehearted support. All right, yeah. I want to deal with Varys anyway, right? Ah, we lose the trade to Mnemonic. Great. Then we can lead armies again. Great. Oh, he, he actually did it. <laughs> okay. Lord Uturidis of the trident. Cool, Coldwell. Great name. Great name. Very good. Very good, Varys. Thanks for, uh, for doing that, my man. Although I guess you still hold a, a county here. You might have to deal with you anyway. Level 10 for it. Okay, you know what? You guys can deal with this, this little lord. We have to move to uh, to uh, to Castle Rock. Although I think we will capture something in between. Ah, hey, the Vale is joining me. Oh, great. 
That's good news. That's great news, actually. Is that TC joining me against uh, Tyrion? No. Just against this guy, I suppose, or this this woman. A lot of people are joining me against that woman. Uh, what about this adventurer? He's joining me in uh, a few months only. As I say joining me, I mean attacking me. <laughs> so I do hope that... Uh, that we will have finished the war uh, with uh, adaptive strategy. Okay, I'm, I'm studying war still, which makes sense. We've been war at war with, we've been at war for many, many years. Many years. It's, I think it might be like a decade or something. No, that's not true. It's only about three years. This guy, uh, Grand Kingdom of the North. Do, do I own that already? Really? I do. And the Kingdom of the Trident. And the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Present with fake probes. Okay, interesting. I wasn't quite aware of that. Can we imprison you now? Increase your tyranny. Can we revoke the title of Winterfell, actually? No, people will hate me for that as well. Hmm. Plot to fabricate treason. No, okay, it's Varys. We're not going to be able to plot against him. Okay, well, I guess we will finish this war first. Uh, and then... We could already give away the, uh, the, the, the Kingdom of the Riverlands, I guess. Do vessels hate me for holding too many kingdom level titles? No, they don't. Okay, in that case we will wait. <laughs> if you guys don't hate me for it, then why would we give it away? <laughs> okay, oh, you split up our army, I guess. Okay, fine. Fine by me. We fought 100% against Lord Barbara of Southstone. Alright. I don't know why that, that suddenly was 100%. Did they capture uh, one of her family members or something? Battle of Lollis Keep, minus uh, plus 114 percent, okay. <laughs> Great, welcome back to the vault. Lord Barbara of Southstone. Uh, that her bend the knees and she will forfeit Southstone, yeah. Give me that. Thank you. Can we refocus some more from her? No, I guess not. Okay, let's call her for trial. Let's call her for trial. Oh, she, will, uh, she wants trial by combat, alright. Uh, yeah, we can be merciful, I suppose. Uh, we'll smooth this over. Before we do anything, let's attack this... Uh, attack this, this fort, because otherwise we will uh, start losing uh, taking war score. Brindon Tully. Brindon the Blackfish. Ah, okay, interesting. Interesting. I will set, select someone to stand for the king, yeah. So Brindon Tully, Brindon the Blackfish, he's, he's a great character from the... Mainly the books. He's also in the show. He's a little bit less prominent there, but he is like the sort of power behind the throne of the Tullys. And to be honest, I kind of want to give him the Riverlands. Because <laughs> he's great. I hope uh, I hope he's not killed. Uh, you, will, you have to try I will select someone to stand for his king, yeah. Loris Tyrell? Loris Tyrell versus Brendan the Blackfish, guys. <laughs> that is actually great. We could have Robar Royce. Robar Royce is also a good, uh, good choice, I suppose. 120 cut personal combat skill, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So Robar will champion for you. Okay, you fight Sir Brendan Blackfish, but don't don't kill him, please. He's great. He's a fantastic guy. Uh, Lord Roos uh, and Lord of the Arbor, please join me. Because I need to charge this uh, this castle. Fight well, Sir Robar. Come on. Relentlessly at Brendan Tully, beating him into submission, forcing him to yield. Okay, he yielded. Great. Great. The gods were not in their favor. Uh, here we execute it. Uh, I shall be merciful and grant you the priesthood. I can be, I can execute her. Here I exile you. Ah, no, you can, you can go into the priesthood. That's fine. Do we now? Do we hold titles in the Riverlands? Uh, King's Landing, Shipbreaker Bay, Southstone. Yeah, it's just only the High Lordship. Do we hold any regular lordships? No, I guess not. Okay, so. We cannot give it to Brendan Tully then, because he doesn't hold any land in the reach. Hmm, okay, well, 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 we'll postpone it. We're not at peace yet. We can postpone this stuff. What about South uh, Seaguard? Is that are we about, about, uh, about to win that? Probably, right? Eighth moon, ninth moon. Everybody, please join me. I want to storm this castle. Okay, large wildfire stockpile. Let's, uh, let's wait for a moment uh, before we uh, go any further than that. 
because it's uh, it's quite expensive to do. Um, you want the king to be king of the north, lord of Stony Shore. Present with fake promises. We can give it to the. Oh no, they're they're not under me at the moment. But we cannot give it out anyway. Can we assault it? Uh, please don't lose all your troops. Thank you. 100%. Okay, great. That was easy. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because we hold all this uh, all this family hostage. Enforce demands. Yes. Okay, great. Lord Tyrion Lannister. He will forfeit the Westerlands. Yes. You Lannisters. You, should, you, you have no right to that. Lord Rickard Riswell. Uh, where is he? Up here? Ah, uh, you can bend the knee. I'll be merciful. I need the troops. Because there's a big, uh, a big pretender coming. I think we will skip that for next episode, though. Because we've been recording for quite a while. We have indeed been recording for a while. In fact, I'm going to end the episode here. We will uh, see how Renly Bratton deals with the aftermath of the Westerland Revolt. And uh, what else pops up. And uh, what will happen with this uh, adventurer in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye.